Hello, Shiny Jim. Today we'll be discussing the thespian menu. All right. We're, we're just going to go with the menu. We'll get into the mushy editor in later videos. I promise you. I know it seems like we're taking forever to get to that point, but I want to make sure you're prepared and ready to use anything we need to use for the thespian. All right. So today we'll go into scrutiny detail of the thespian menu, all right? Let's get started. Okay guys, we are in the admin panel. Again, you need to be admin to spawn in a thespian. Um, so we're just gonna do that. We're in the cheap menu. Uh, thespian is under building. So you click other gear resource, it's not gonna show up. It's under building. You click this and I'll spawn it in and we are going to place one now. All right, let's get going. All right. So the, this is going to be random and to prove that I have two thespians. So we go, yay. See, it's random. It really is, but we can change the looks whenever we want. Ooh. I like her. <laughs> she turned out really well. But this, these are the thespians. All right. Let's. Uh, if you have access to them uh, as an admin, you can walk up and press E or hold E. Actually, uh, it's not. Come on, E. There we go. Pressing E works too. You can hold E. I was um, hitting this block here behind him. First and foremost. Name. Hmm. We'll name him Jason. Okay. Does he have a profession? Well, in this case, we're going to say he's a quest giver. Okay. Um, for now, we'll leave him as a regular, but um, let's go through these options. Okay. Again, you can change the name. You can change this, but we're going to say quest giver for later videos. Okay. Um, regular just allows easy access to this menu and it just looks cool. If you want to leave him just regularly standing there and calling it good and he needs nothing to do, there you go. <laughs> um, you can do a banker. Let's hit apply. Go close. All right. I'm going to go walk up here. And there's the banker. You can, with the banker system, you can deposit, withdraw um, any funds. You can reset transaction logs, so on and so forth. Okay, that's the banker. Uh, okay, so now that he has, uh, 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 instead of instead he's regular, instead of regular, he's a banker right now. You have to hold E, and you want to hit edit. You can pick him up. Because he is technically a building piece. Um, you can remove him, force placing ownership, and force ownership. All right, so edit. Uh, we discussed these two merchants in an earlier video. You can go back and watch those. Um, and then, of course, your dialogue thespian is going to be the thespian you use for the mushy editor to have him talk to you and so on and so forth. So we're gonna click this and hit OK and hit apply and go close. Now I haven't done anything in the mushy editor for this guy so if I walk up to him he says nothing and he just shows this. This is all he does. There's nothing in the mushy editor to tell him oh he's talking or give me something to do for him or otherwise. Alright again press E Ooh, try not to hit the block behind him. <laughs> um, so we're going to actually go back to regular so it's not too hard for me to click on him. Uh, you can disable interaction GUI. This uh, uh, it's I don't use it very often. We'll just put it that way. Does this thespian show that it can be interact with? The, it, 
I'd rather it not be disabled. We'll put it that way. It should not be disabled, <laughs> especially if it's interactive. Okay, so, but if we disable it because it's just a regular person, we hit apply, the, the UI just doesn't show up. Which is good if you're trying to see, see, she's, uh, she doesn't have it disabled. It, it's good if, um, you're just placing a person and it's just there for decoration. It's really good for that. But otherwise, I don't recommend it being disabled. I really don't. Um, allow clan members to configure this thespian. I usually have it checked because if um, you have an admin, um, an admin clan where all your admins are in one clan, and um, you you can have it have them fix something that was bugged all of a sudden. Um, you can cha have them get through and access this really quickly and easily to fix this. Otherwise, if you're just by yourself or you're a small group and you're like only two members is the admins, unmark this. That way they don't have access to this at all, okay? And that way they can't change it. I'm going to move this kind of down out of the way. All right. So emote. Select an admin. Select an emote. Let's say... Let's have him do the the warrior dance, is what I call this. You select it. Okay. And we hit apply. And then we go close. And he's dancing. Woohoo. Alright. Um, you can, of course, uh, slow down this by half, we'll say. Or close to half. Hit apply. See? And or speed it up. Let's say by two times. Apply. <laughs> he, he, he can be very, very, very fast. Um, get this back to one. Close to it. There we go. Um, you can also go back and hit none and call it good and hit apply. That didn't work. None. You selected. Apply. <laughs> there you go. Um, next is administrative locked animation locked position. So in this, um, in this, say he's waving, you selected, say he's waving, that helps. Okay. Um, you can lock the position, let's say at like one, one. Okay. Locked position. When less than zero, this thespian will be locked into that position of the animation. So, zero, apply. So, zero means not locked. Let's say two, apply. Alright, one. Let's say five. Alright, see, zero. Hit apply. Okay, there's that. Okay, equipment. Use kit. So if you guys remember, we could how to create kits. Um, you can hit use kit, and um, if you had a kit that had a specific amount of gear in it, um, you could use that. Okay, uh, so uh, I'll be we'll just hit armor. Hit apply. Uh, come on, let's uh, have him stop with the waving. You selected, hit apply. Alright, uh, make sure you say use kit equipment and we hit apply. The guy has a long sword and a shield now. Close this off so you can see that. Um, again, you know how to create kits. Just go back to an earlier video and it'll work that way. Alright, let's uh, get back in here. You can also go to character editor. So here's your guy. Mine's a little wonky because of the fact that we're well a it's raining so that's the droplets there and um b i am using age of calamitous um it doesn't quite fit um age of calamitous uh colors and stuff don't really work in mushy editor uh or well just 
in this pippy screen here very well. Um, kind of to prove that, let's go with this with um, uh, yellow. Yeah, we're just going to make him look crazy. Okay, we're just going to make him look like insane. Okay, so see these green eyes? You can't see them here. And it's just because it's not supported all that well. Um, it uses a green screen in the background here, so green is probably not going to be your favorite, your, your friend. Green is probably not your friend, or at least that bright fluorescent green. And these fluorescent colors here. Ah, red worked, blue worked, there you go. But green, not so much, your friend, okay? Uh, that the bright green is just not your friend, all right? Um, you can hit apply, close, and you can see it's changed colors, appearance. Um, you can use the equipment editor instead and just go doink. Make sure these are the right ones because it's a pain to use the wrong ones. And of course you can use the weapons. I don't have a weapon. We'll, we'll give him the head. Um, and you can hit apply. You can load from storage uh, which means you can save as well so if you save the current system and say it's um, what is it the infantry uh, I N F A N T R Y infantry just armor just armor and then we say uh, create or update there you go then you can close and then you get to keep it. This is just like skins is a good way of to thinking of that. And then hit apply. And make sure to uncheck the kit if you were using the kit. Hit apply. There you go. There's the infantry. Um, what not. And then we can go over here. We'll have her use the, use the armor kit that he had on. There we go. We'll hide her, her UI. There you go. See? Now you got a decorative girl here and a quest giver standing right next to her. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, keep going. Ugh. Always clicking that thing, huh? Edit. Alright. That is the equipment editor. You can have like four or five different layouts if you would like. We can load from storage. Let's go with medium. Um, load and voila hit apply and you switched into that now if we go back to the equipment editor and say we wanted layout one we have to hit apply again to hit that but that way you have like several layouts ready to go whenever you want to change like every like once a week you change the guys outfits just to make it more realistic for some reason or another all right we are not going to click this. This is the launch mushy editor. We will get to that. I promise you. This video is just discussing this entire panel here. <laughs> Alright. So head tracking. Pretty obvious. It tracks the head or doesn't. Looks at the player or doesn't basically. Voice actor. You got like several people's voice actor. It, it's great. I like it. Okay choose your actors if you wish. Um, you got Ian, uh, no voice, Ian, contrast, Alex, and um, I will slaughter that name so I will not say it and I do apologize for not saying it because you, you we have epic voice actors. <laughs> so we'll um, use that voice actor, hit apply, close, so when we walk up Oh, whoops, uh, let's uh, use dialogue. Hit apply, close. So dialogue does nothing, right? But, oops, wrong button. But, 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 if we say profession and say, okay, apply, we hit E. Oops, I forgot the. Oh! Hold on. Greetings, traveler. You heard that? Um, it was probably pretty low for you, but he said, Greetings, traveler. 
Um, so you can have voice actors for the merchants. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, if you would like. Okay. Uh, yeah. So they don't actually read off this um, in their voices. Hello, little one. All right. They don't. All right. So that covers this entire panel. Um, it does. It does. It does. So our next video will be starting with this mushy editor. Yay! I'm super excited. All right, guys, that is the thespian um, edit panel. And next time, we will start with the basics of the mushy editor system. I can't wait. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And don't forget, stay shiny. And I'll see you guys all next time.